I don't think I actually decided to become a researcher. I think it chose me. <laughs> um, I'm just very curious and I always want to be learning. Um, and so that's something that's very attractive in research to me. And honestly, the best part of my job is the teaching. And the, the research makes me a better teacher because I'm able to take what I'm learning through my research and bring it into the classroom to ensure that my students are leaving here with absolutely the best up-to-date education and that I'm able to offer them something new and something that's very current. Um, so teaching is what drives me and it's really what inspires my research. Queen's offers a great deal of benefit in terms of international connections for researchers here. Uh, one of the networks that I've derived a great deal of benefit from is the Machiriki Network of Universities, where I've gotten the opportunity to collaborate with Dr. Paul Witanui at the University of Otago in Dunedin, New Zealand. So it's another Machiriki University, and we're able to um, work together and collaborate on Indigenous education projects on an international scope and gain support through that network. I'm part of WIRA, which is the World Indigenous Research Association. Um, and as WIRA, we are a, a group of Indigenous academics in, I believe, six countries. And we meet regularly to discuss our research and look for ways to better mobilize Indigenous research to meet the needs of our communities. About 37% of Aboriginal students will graduate from high school, compared to around 70% for non-Aboriginal students. So this is a serious problem that Canada is facing. My work uh, aims to overcome that gap by understanding why it occurs in the first place and what um, teaching methods and types of schools work best to overcome that. I'm working on a project with an immersion school in Anishinaabem, which is also called Ojibwe, on Manitoulin Island. And in the school, the children are uh, immersed in Ojibwe six hours a day, so the entire time that they're there, they're junior and senior kindergarten students. And they're also engaged in Aboriginal pedagogies and play-based learning. Um, in a school that is also an equal school, so there's a lot of natural materials and the parents built their playground using all natural materials from the area. So I'm monitoring their progress um, in terms of their education and their language development and also how they feel about their education. I think that the most important advice that I would give to somebody who is thinking of becoming a researcher in education is that your primary focus and your primary responsibility lies with the community in which you work. So if you're researching only for your own good and, and to elevate your own career, uh, those are important things, but that can't be your only focus. And if you're doing it for those reasons, you're not going to be a good researcher in education. Um, our research is beautifully placed to serve the communities in which we work, and because we're taking knowledge from communities, we're learning from them, our primary responsibility needs to be to return knowledge to them. It needs to be a give and take. One by one, you and me, that's how we build community. Take the step, take your turn, learn to teach, teach to learn, support, connect, collaborate, be a part, help us create. Yeah, one by one, you and me, that's how we build community.